kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my another video tutorial on Android app development. And so guys, this will be the part seven of my video series on audio video calling app using Firebase in Android Studio. Alright guys, so in our previous part of the video, we had covered the login feature of the app, and now in this video, we are going to start working on the register functionality in our application. So now the user will be able to uh, register himself into the Firebase, and we will first of all create the XML file of it, and then I will be doing another video of part, and in, in that part, we will be covering the uh, the logic part of the uh, of the functionality. So guys, let's get started. So so before going to our next activity and that will be the register activity first of all i want to make sure that this current activity which we had done before is uh, okay or not so so we have to uh, just uh, we have to remove this hint from there and we have to place it here so that we are able to show the show the enter email and same is it uh, it's same for the password so we have to remove from here and here we have to paste so now it looks good and you guys can see that we have this screen with the login button so now whenever the user will click on the login button so the user will be able to be logged in to the application so now first of all here i want to show you that yes we already have the have the registered activity class and here we have the two classes the first one is the xml and that one is the java class so for that we have to write the in this video we will be working on this register activity so guys first of all we have to write the relative layout here and then inside this relative layout before that we have to set the background color to it so we write android background and the color will be color primary so here we have the uh, the background color set so now here we will have uh, a linear layout and then inside that we will have uh, the back button then we will have the text so for that let me write linear layout its width will be match and the height will be wrap content or i think it should be match parent as well so after this uh, we have to set the orientations so we have to set it to vertical so after we have this linear layout so inside this linear layout we are going to have the image view so for the image view we first we have to write wrap content for both the width and the height then we have to set the padding to 5 tp and then we have to put up the image so for this i can point towards uh, a drivable slash ic back so here we have the back button and then let me close the image view and then we will be having the text view and here inside this text view we are going to write the text register same like the login which we had done before so here we will have the text view and the text view it the width and height will be wrap content then we will have to set the text to register and then we have to set this text size to 40 dp and then we can say text all caps it will be true then we will have the uh, the margin top to 50 dp so here we have the margin top and it will be 50 50 dp so it will be here and then we can also have let me write the font family and the font family okay so we will set the font family uh, later in our uh, in our video part so right now here we have the register and we have to set the text style and it should be bold and then we can have margin start it should be around 10 dp or i guess 20 dp yes okay so after we are done with this so now we we should have another linear layout for the edit text so for this first of all let me just uh, close the text view so after this text view is closed here we now need to have another linear layout and its width will be parent, match parent and height will be wrap content then we have to write margin top and it will be 70 dp and the orientation will be vertical all right so inside this linear layout we are going to use the text input te uh, text input layout so for this first of all we can say text input layout and it 
width will be match parent height will be wrap content then we can have the hint and the hint will be enter name and then we will have the start icon drivable and the start icon drivable will be drivable and an slash ic insert emotion gray 40 right after this we are going to use some of the features of the text input layout so the first one is the end icon mode and icon mode and the mode will be clear text and then we are going to use the end icon tint and it will be color black and then finally we are going to use the box stroke color and it will be black as well so after inside this uh, text input layout now we are going to use the text input edit text so here we have text input edit text and it will be match parent match parent and then we are going to use the id and it will be ed uh, ed name then we are going to use the text color it will be color slash black and then i think that it's enough now and similarly we are going to use the text input layout for the remaining part so here i am just going to copy and i am just going to copy it and uh, sorry i'm just going to copy the entire thing and i have to paste it here but instead of this ed name we are going to have the ed email and instead of this end icon clear text or and we have to change that and also what we are going to change is we are going to change enter email then we are going to change the we are going to write the margin top it will be 10 dp so that it's below and then we are going to use only the ic email and then we are going uh, clear text will be same and the black both the black will be black so after this what we are going to change is uh, i think now that's enough and instead of this hint here we are going to use the hint here and then we are going to uh, same it for this hint so we are going to cut it and paste it here so i think now it's good and before this we are going to i think we should use the padding and the padding will be 30 dp and i think it should be no less than 10 dp so right so now it looks good and similarly we are going to use uh, another text input layout so in this case i am just going to copy the last one and i am going to paste it right below here so after i below i have here so here instead of this ed email we are going to write ed password and instead of this hint we are going to write enter password so after this i think all uh, everything is fine and okay so another thing which we must be doing is that we are going to use the password toggle for the end icon mode so here i go to end icon mode and here we have to use the password toggle right and after this i think now that everything is properly set up so after this we are going to use a button for to create the account so at the end of this linear layout we are going to use the app compact button so for this we are going to use app compact button and its width will be match parent height will be wrap content then we are going to write we are going to set up the from the margin top and it should be 30 dp then we are going to write the text create account and finally we are going to set the text size it to be 22 sp then we are going to set an id and we can say button register then we are going to use the background and the background will be color black and then we can say text color and the text color will be color white so there you can see that it's now uh, it looks beautiful and yeah so 
another thing which i should be doing is that uh, we have to increase the padding from overall so here we are going to increase the padding to i guess it should be 20 dp so yes now it looks good now we have the register and login screen and also we think i think that it should be uh, margin top will be 10 dp so that it will or i guess 20 will be more than enough so yes so i think now that it's uh, the xml file of this code is now ready so now we have to write the code for our for our java part of this class so now we will do that in the next part of the video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye